The reason why I'm testing these natural American Spirit t cigarettes, these are the organic ones, is because I tested these already. This is the regular variety of the American Spirit that's non-organic. The reason why I tested this is because I tested this. So rumor has it that they're using polonium in the diammonium phosphate to grow the tobacco plants. It's in the fertilizer. So the reason why I did this is because I, was surpri I wasn't surprised to find it in here since I knew it was already in here. I was surprised to find it that they're using fertilizer to grow a radioactive fertilizer to grow these plants. So it wasn't a surprise once I knew that they did it. Kind of a little surprised that I found it in this one. But then I thought I gotta go with the organic brand to see if the organic brand is actually the same as this or this would test actually nothing whatsoever. So I usually don't do this at the beginning. I usually give the results at the end. But if you watch the other one, remember background is 0 0.50, which is 30 CPMs. The Marlboro tested at 0.93. So you gotta subtract this because this is the background. This guy came in at 0.80. Now without the pack even open, I test it and it came to 0.63. So there was some shielding going on in this paper uh, cigarette pack. Well, believe it or not, this guy tested the, the pack not even open, tested 0.63 the exact same number as that. And what this open tested as is point eighty four, which is a, even a little higher than this. So what it's telling me is it doesn't matter if you're going natural or organic tobacco. Now what I'd like to know is where is it coming from in this if it's supposedly an organic tobacco are they using an organic fertilizer? Are they using DAP, diammonium phosphate? Or are they using the fertilizer that is not DAP and it and it all and it also contains the radiation? Or is what we're picking up part of it is from the Fukushima explosion. Remember that fallout came down on the ground. Now I can't identify the isotopes in here, whether it's whether it is the polonium or if it does contain some cesium or whatever it could be a marker for Fukushima but once you get that uh, gamma spectrometer it could identify the isotope and it would be able to tell what is this radiation coming from what is the source of that radiation so in a nutshell all these cigarettes are dangerous to smoke even the organic variety supposedly I think it's 90% of lung cancer from smoking cigarette actually comes from the polonium and the tobacco. So unless I find out if American Spirit can tell me what fertilizer they're using, then you can put two and two together and probably figure out this riddle. Other than that, we're going to have to wait for the gamma spectrometer to identify what radiation is in here. Now over the two years or three years of the fallout from Fukushima, it's possible that this radiation is in the soil. Because remember, I think cesium's got a half-life of at, 30, at least 30 years, so it's still in the ground. Now, depending on whether it's as bad as they say, they being the Japanese government and the nuclear uh, industry saying that it's not really a, a, a big deal over there, I don't believe it so it actually could be a lot worse than it is and we could have a ton of this radiation in the soil so it might not be coming out today or yesterday but over the past two and a half years it's there and it's going to be there for the next 30 years and so on depending on what it is and, it, and actually the tobacco plant will pull up those isotopes out of the soil it will also, also stick to the trichomes on the leaves so this definitely is radioactive and I just don't think it would be safe to smoke even with a water pipe to filter that out maybe uh, there is a there is a way to get that radiation out maybe washing the leaves um, 
maybe not. I don't know, but this is just what the test is. So hopefully you watch the rest of it and see how I came to this conclusion. So what is organic tobacco? Can it still be organic and radioactive? November 2nd, 2013, and this is a test on the unopened pack of organic American spirit cigarettes. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,755 counts. Max data point is 5. Average data point is 0.63. Basically, there's the unopened pack of cigarettes. Alright, basically I got an unopened pack of cigarettes right behind there. And now we're going to open them up and see what the tobacco tests. November 2nd, 2013, and this is the test on the open pack of organic American spirit cigarettes. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 4,821 total counts. 6 is the max data point, and the average data point is 0 0.80. Which is surprising because this is the organic tobacco now. I thought this would be different than the natural, but I guess it's all the same. So it would be cool to get down into what kind of fertilizers they're using. Because this is no different than conventional cigarettes. So November 2nd, 2013. And this is the second test on the organic American spirit cigarettes. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds. 5,021 total counts, 7 is the max data point, point eighty four is the average data point. And there it is, it's basically in the same spot, as, it's in the exact same spot as the one I just did. So it's definitely picking something up, that's for sure. November 2nd, 2013, look at 1111. And this is the reading on, the background reading on the American Spirit Organic Cigarettes, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,008 total counts, 5 count. Max data point, average data point is 0.50, total typical. Here it is, right where the same spot was, where I had the cigarettes. My conclusion on the organic natural American spirit cigarettes is they're just as radioactive as the non-organic natural American spirit cigarettes. And they're just slightly below the radioactivity of a Marlboro. So until we could identify the isotopes, 
most likely it's polonium or whatever the hell is in their fertilizers that they're using to grow this um, plant. And it's a shame because with 90% of the lung cancers come from the polonium, it's actually almost possible that you can maybe enjoy a cigarette, a true organic cigarette without any preservatives, additives, or radiation and smoke it and not get lung cancer like the Native American Indians did. But we live in a world of pollution and I don't know where the hell they're getting this uh, um, radioactivity to put into the fertilizers. I just hope it's not nuclear waste because that would be the perfect scenario for the nuclear uh, industry when they have some nuclear waste instead of burying it they just put it in our cigarettes and our food go figure so my conclusion is I guess the smoking cigarettes is is real bad for you because of the radiation in them background organic natural American spirit background organic natural American spirit background organic natural American spirit background Organic Natural American Spirit. Background. Organic Natural American Spirit.